Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at how to use experimental gameplay in Minecraft Education Edition. If you have had any experience using mods in Minecraft Education Edition, you may have noticed that some of those mods require a setting called experimental gameplay to be enabled. Unfortunately, the ability to activate this feature in Education Edition just isn't there. The developers have made the following statement. Hi all, we don't have plans to add the experimental gameplay toggle. We've found that it can break the worlds created for lesson content. And to be fair, that does sound reasonable. Anything that affects the stability of the game is going to frustrate teachers when using it in the classroom. However, there is an alternative that gives you the best of both worlds. Get experimental gameplay to use all of the amazing mods, but also keep the stability of Education Edition that we all enjoy. This method is actually very simple, quick and easy, so let's dive in and take a look. Please remember that if you found today's video useful, do like and subscribe to the channel. I'm putting out new content all the time, teaching you how to get the most out of Minecraft Education Edition. Make sure you check out all of our socials for extra support and information. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe, so hit that bell and never miss another video again. To get a world file with experimental gameplay activated, all you need to do is import it like you would any other world file with the correct settings that you want embedded. In the description below, you will find a world file with experimental gameplay activated. This world file was created simply by opening up Minecraft Bedrock Edition and exporting a new world with experimental gameplay activated. If you open this world file in Education Edition, you'll notice that all of the settings, although you can't see them, have been carried over. In the link below, I've included a flat world for you to have a go with and an infinite world, so you can choose whichever you prefer. Okay, so let's look at getting those mods into your worlds. But before I do, I really want to push my luck today and just ask that you check out my new brand partnership with this company, Into the AM. They make awesome t-shirts using the link in the description below. You can get 10% off. It is 100% the best way that you can support this channel. Once you have downloaded and imported your experimental world, quickly save and exit. Then go to My World, click the most recent file and add your mod to the resource pack and behaviour pack. And that's it. The pack that you were trying to use before in Education Edition should now be working absolutely fine. Now, don't worry, over the coming weeks I'll be reviewing some more mods that use experimental settings. So make sure you like and subscribe to check all that good stuff out. Okay guys, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're going to finish up there and I will see you all later on in the week.